Sweden's reconnaissance capabilities have emerged as a cornerstone of its national defense strategy, reflecting a sophisticated blend of technological innovation, NATO integration, and regional strategic priorities. As a historically neutral nation that joined NATO in 2024, Sweden has transitioned from a Cold War era focus on territorial defense to a broader role in collective security, particularly in the Baltic and Arctic regions. Its reconnaissance systems, spanning air, land, sea, and space domains, leverage cutting-edge platforms, autonomous technologies, and robust intelligence sharing networks. Sweden's airborne reconnaissance capabilities are among the most advanced in Europe, driven by platforms like the Saab JAS-39 Gripen and the Global Eye Airborne Early Warning and Control System. The Gripen, a 4.5 generation multi-role fighter, is equipped with the Raven ES-05 AESA radar and electro-optical sensors, enabling tactical aerial reconnaissance across air, land, and sea environments. Its proven effectiveness was demonstrated during NATO's 2011 Operation Unified Protector in Libya, where Gripen units delivered over 2,770 reconnaissance reports across 570 missions. Complementing the Gripen, the Global Eye, based on the Bombardier Global 6000, provides long-range intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance with its Eerie Extended Range Radar, capable of detecting targets beyond 550 kilometers. In 2025, Sweden proposed a joint acquisition with Denmark for up to four Global Eye aircraft to enhance Arctic surveillance, underscoring its commitment to monitoring strategic frontiers. Additionally, the ASC-890, a Saab 340-based airborne surveillance platform, offers radar coverage of 300 to 400 kilometers, though Sweden's transfer of two such aircraft to Ukraine in 2024 highlights both its generosity and potential domestic capability gaps. The integration of unmanned aerial vehicles further bolsters Sweden's airborne reconnaissance. Contracts signed with Parrot in 2024 for small UAVs and plans for medium-altitude, long-endurance drones reflect a strategic pivot toward autonomous systems. Notably, Sweden's testing of AI-driven drone swarms, capable of coordinating up to 100 units for tasks like target identification and road monitoring, demonstrates a forward-looking approach, validated during the 2025 Arctic Strike exercise. On the ground, Sweden's reconnaissance capabilities are undergoing significant modernization to address evolving threats. The 2025 procurement of the Thales GM200 multi-mission compact radar under the Sensor System NIE program enhances medium-range air and surface surveillance, offering seamless integration with NATO systems. This radar strengthens Sweden's layered air defense and reconnaissance particularly in the Baltic region, where Russian military activity remains a concern. The Swedish army is also integrating autonomous systems into its ground forces, with platforms like the CV-90 Infantry Fighting Vehicle now equipped with drone surveillance capabilities in collaboration with BAE Systems Heglins and Aerolit. These systems provide real-time battlefield intelligence, improving situational awareness and fire control. The acquisition of unmanned aerial systems for reconnaissance and surveillance further addresses equipment lifecycle challenges, ensuring the Army remains agile and responsive. Sweden's emphasis on autonomy and interoperability positions its ground-based reconnaissance as a critical enabler of NATO's collective defense, particularly in joint exercises like Baltops, where Swedish forces demonstrate their ability to share intelligence seamlessly with allies. Maritime reconnaissance is equally vital to Sweden's defense strategy, given its extensive Baltic Sea coastline and proximity to contested waters. The Swedish Navy's Visby-class corvettes, with their stealth design and advanced sensors, conduct covert surveillance, while Gotland-class submarines provide underwater intelligence gathering capabilities. The 2024 order for the AUV-62MR Autonomous Underwater Vehicle enhances mine countermeasures and seabed reconnaissance, reducing risks to personnel through high-resolution sonar imaging. 
The Global Eye's maritime surveillance capabilities further extend Sweden's reach, enabling real-time monitoring of Russian naval movements in the Baltic and North Seas. This integrated maritime reconnaissance framework not only safeguards Sweden's territorial waters, but also strengthens NATO's situational awareness in a region critical to European security. The Baltic Sea, often described as a geopolitical flashpoint, benefits from Sweden's ability to provide actionable intelligence to allies, mitigating risks of escalation and ensuring freedom of navigation. Sweden's foray into space-based reconnaissance marks a significant leap in its strategic capabilities. The development of reconnaissance and surveillance satellites, supported by the S-Range Space Center's unique launch capabilities, positions Sweden as a rare NATO member with indigenous satellite deployment capacity. These satellites enhance global intelligence gathering, supporting long-range combat and early warning systems. In 2024, Sweden joined 17 NATO states in a cooperative agreement to create a shared satellite reconnaissance network, integrating commercial and military data for missile detection and intelligence analysis. Additionally, the Swedish Air Force's efforts to track satellite trajectories bolster space situational awareness, countering threats to secure communications. While still nascent compared to traditional domains, Sweden's space reconnaissance initiatives signal a commitment to strategic autonomy and resilience, particularly in an era where space is increasingly contested. The evolution of Sweden's reconnaissance capabilities reflects a response to both historical and contemporary geopolitical realities. During the Cold War, platforms like the Saab 29 focused on countering Warsaw Pact threats, but the post-Cold War era saw Sweden pivot toward international operations in Afghanistan and Libya. The 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine and Sweden's subsequent NATO accession catalyzed a renewed emphasis on territorial defense and alliance integration. Lessons from Ukraine, particularly the effectiveness of drones and autonomous systems, have shaped Sweden's modernization efforts evident in its drone swarm initiatives and mail drone acquisitions. The 2024 defense budget of $11.3 billion, about 2.2% of GDP, with plans to reach 2.6% by 2028, underscores Sweden's investment in reconnaissance modernization, including counter drone systems, rocket artillery, and advanced ISR platforms. The Swedish Defense Commission's 2024 report further emphasizes accelerated capability development, aligning with NATO's strategic priorities. The impact of Sweden's reconnaissance capabilities on national security is profound. Domestically, they enable a robust defense posture, ensuring early warning and rapid response to threats in the Baltic and Arctic regions. The integration of autonomous systems and AI-driven technologies enhances operational efficiency, reducing reliance on personnel in high-risk environments. Sweden's defense industry, led by Saab, benefits economically from indigenous platforms like the Gripen and Globaleye, fostering innovation and reducing dependence on foreign suppliers. However, challenges remain, including gaps in male drone development compared to systems like Turkey's Bayraktar and potential vulnerabilities in electronic warfare environments, as observed in Ukraine. The transfer of assets like the ASC-890 to Ukraine, while diplomatically significant, may strain domestic capabilities in the short term, necessitating careful resource management. <laughs>